Let X and Y denote values of two stocks at the end of a five-year period. X is uniform on 0, 012. Given X equals X, Y is uniform on 0, 06. Find covariance XY. So you know the first step here should be to find the joint PDF. And mm, the joint PDF uh, in general can always be written in this kind of a form. Uh, joint PDF of X and Y uh, is equal to F of X times F of Y given X. So um, in general, I mean, if you feel any confusion, you can also uh, say that this is G of X and this is H of Y given X. <clears throat> So, uh, and it could also uh, go the other way around. You can also have G of Y times H of X given Y. So you can think of it that whatever um, uh, you write first, then you do have the second given first. So this is a general formula that is always true uh, for a joint PDF. Remember, we've been using the fact that if uh, uh, the variables are independent, then it's G of X times H of Y. And this one actually reduces to that because when the variables is, are independent, then Y given X is just Y because Y does not depend on whatever X is. So H of Y given X in case of independent variables will just be H of Y. And then it reduces to the one for independent variables. So here, G of X is the PDF of X, which is one over 12 minus zero, it's uniform. So it's one over 12 minus zero for X between zero and 12. And uh, given X equals X, we're told that Y is uniform on zero X. So it'd be one over zero, one over X minus zero and Y between zero and X. So that's what we have written. And, um, the domain will be just you combine the two x remember was from use the uniform from 0 to 12 and y was uniform from 0 to x so once again here you can separate it out as a function of one variable so like 1 over 12 is a function of one variable alone times 1 over x is also a function of one variable and so the first condition is true for the shortcut but the second condition is not because the domain is not a rectangle and um, you, you know that for the domain to be a rectangle, all these four numbers on the limits have to be constants, but here this X is not a constant. So that uh, makes it into a non-rectangle domain. So we have to go through all our work, covariance XY, EXY minus EXEY, EXY double integral of XY against the joint PDF. So here again, because of the way the limits are given, the best way to integrate it is to do it with respect to y first. y has limits 0 to x, and then x has 0 to 12. Remember, outer limits have to be constants no matter what. Okay, and then the joint PDF, so we have xy times 1 over 12x, that was a joint PDF. And so the x's cancel out. And when I put one over 12 out, it's just y dy, which integrates to y squared by two from zero to x. So you get x squared by two after you put in the limits and the two joins with the 12 here. And this integrates to x cubed by three, which is 12 cubed by three, and it's 24 in the end. E of x similarly is a double integral of x against the PDF. X is cancel out, one over 12 out, the integral of dy is just y. And after you put in the limits, y zero to y x, so you get x minus zero. And then the integral of this is just x squared by two, which will be 12 squared by two. And then you get six. Similarly, you get e of y. It's the double integral of y against the PDF. And here 1 over 12 x is a constant. I can pull the 1 over 12 out of all the integrals 
X, I can't pull out uh, because it's eventually going to, going to turn into a variable, even though right now it's a constant. Um, so the integral of y is y squared by two. You put in the limits, you get x squared by two, and the two joins in here. And the x squared that you got here cancels with this x to just give you an x in the numerator. And then this one integrates to x squared by two, which will be 12 squared by two. And then you get three. And then when you substitute the values, you get six for the covariance. So that is C.